Hello and welcome to my video. Today in this video I will show you how you can easily change your old and boring shopping cart and checkout pages of your WooCommerce store into more modern looking pages. It's quite simple, for this we're gonna use plugin and by using this plugin we will be able to change this old boring looking checkout page to this one and this old boring cart page to this one. So, alright, so let's start this and uh, to do this you want to go to your basically dashboard of your website i'm gonna open this one in a new window and uh, just go to plugins and click add new just the standard procedure of installing a plugin uh, the plugin you want to look for is called woocommerce blocks all right so this is the plugin you want to install as you can see i have installed this plugin already and it's active and the reason why this plugin only has 2.5 stars is very simple. Uh, it's because this plugin, it basically doesn't work with PayPal checkout option. And if you are using PayPal checkout option, uh, once you change your pages to more modern looking pages by using this plugin, uh, you will not have option of PayPal checkout. If you're using PayPal standard payment option, you will not have any issues. Uh, so here's an example how it looks in reality and practice. So for example, right here in the checkout page of this website, as you can see, I'm using PayPal standard payment option. And in another website right here, I'm using PayPal checkout option. As you can see, PayPal checkout option has this PayPal button. And once you click pay with uh, this PayPal option, the pop-up window will show up where your customer will have to enter his details. And by entering his details, he will be able to complete checkout. Meanwhile, right here, as you can see here with the PayPal standard option, a customer will go to a new window where he will have to enter his details. Uh, looking from conversion rate perspective, there's no huge difference, even though this option of PayPal checkout might be more convenient, but uh, as you can see, I'm running two websites with different PayPal payment methods and I don't see any huge differences. Uh, looking from settings perspective, this is how it looks. All right, so right here I'm in the website where I will be changing the checkout page and add to cart page. And as you can see in my payment uh, settings, I have PayPal standard payment method activated for PayPal payments. And another website, I have activated PayPal checkout instead of PayPal standard. So that's the main difference. And if you are using PayPal standard, you'll have no issues. But if you want to use those new pages for your checkout and add to cart pages, you'll have to start using PayPal standard if you are using PayPal checkout. Other than that, there is no issues. Um, maybe if you are watching this video in the future, maybe the developers of this plugin have, they have solved this issue already. I'm not sure, but as far as right now, it hasn't been solved yet. All right, so let's go back to the website where I want to change my shopping cart page and my checkout page. So let's start by changing checkout page, which is right here. So to change that, I'm gonna go to this website and uh, let's go to pages. Let's select all pages and let's go to checkout and let's click edit. Right here, you want to delete this code because we are not going to use it. Uh, this is basically the code uh, that uh, basically shows the old checkout page. Let's delete it and uh, let's click right here to basically add new checkout page. Let's scroll down. All right, so as you can see, when we install this plugin, there are some blocks added to the list of all blocks. And basically this plugin is quite versatile. It's not only for changing your cart page or checkout page, you can add uh, some of these blocks to your pages, to your uh, blog posts and so on. But today we are here to change our checkout page and cart page. So all you want to do is click right here, checkout if you are changing your checkout page and let's click update. All right, now we can refresh our checkout page and uh, let's see how it looks now. And voila! It looks nice and it looks way better than the previous version. As you can see, we have PayPal method. Everything works just fine. If you would click on credit card or debit card option, everything works just fine. All right, now we can go to our shopping cart. So as you can see, this is how the old version looks right now. And to change this version, 
uh, we're gonna have to do basically the same as we did with this checkout page let's go to the list of all our pages and let's select card page let's click edit and procedure is basically the same we have to delete the previous version of our card and now we have to select a new card from the list of all blocks as you can see it is right here all right now we can click update and now we can refresh this page to see how it looks right now and all done this is how it looks it looks much better as you can see it yourself so basically this is how you can easily change your shopping cart page and checkout pages by using this plugin and like i said if you are using paypal checkout option uh, for payments with paypal this plugin might not work as well uh, as it's supposed to because uh, to make it work uh, as it's supposed to, you'll have to use PayPal standard payment options for your PayPal payments. And if you want to check the impact of those new pages, uh, I'm talking about the conversion rate, uh, basically you'll have to use Google Analytics. So for example, just check the conversion rate of the previous two weeks of your, of your shopping cart and then your checkout pages by using Google Analytics activate this plugin change your pages and check if there are any changes uh, related to conversion rate after two weeks when you are using new pages so like i said run a test for two weeks compare the previous two weeks uh, later on you can run it for one week compare with uh, one week uh, before or after when you were using your old pages and by doing this you will be able to understand if it has any positive impact on your website but i really think those pages look way better than the previous version so this is it guys thank you for watching hopefully this video was useful if it was maybe you could leave a like or subscribe to my channel because i don't really like to like beg for likes or subscribe so if you like it you can do this and if you want to see more videos related to WordPress, WooCommerce or marketing in general or maybe productivity tips or anything like that, um, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. This is exactly what I do on this channel. So thank you for watching and have an outstanding and fantastic day. Goodbye, guys.